Xander Tanigawa writes, my question is, should AMC and other theaters create a rule or do something that babies, children, and kids should not be allowed inside of a PG-13 or an R-rated movie because the audience is trying to enjoy the movie, but children are crying, running around, and making noises? This has happened to me before, and I wanted to know your opinion. Has this happened to you? Thanks. I just oh saw the God. picture yeah. Ray made. The best picture, this picture in the Ray history made. of his career. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Amazing. That's, That's so a good. Great picture. Oh man. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Like, I am somebody who does not have kids, but I, I have a lot of friends who do. I don't think the answer at all is is parents should not be allowed to bring babies or kids because the thing is, you don't notice. The 98 out of 100, ah, maybe that's too much. You don't notice the 8.5 out of 10 parents that bring their kids in because most of the babies sleep and they don't care and whatever. You don't notice it, but it does happen once in a while. Also, I think there's a... We as a society have to give a little bit of leeway to parents with kids because, you know... Some, you got to bring your kid to go see a movie and a little cry from a baby for a second. That doesn't bother me. That's life. Now, I do agree, though, that I have been, it hasn't happened a lot, but I have been in theaters sometimes when a baby would start crying, no problem, but then it's still crying like a minute, two minutes, three minutes later, and then you're thinking just now, most of the time, 90% of parents will go, hey, I can't get my baby to stop crying. I'm going to get up and, and walk my baby out into the hallway. That's great. But sometimes they don't do that, and that is irritating. Now, like I said, it hasn't happened a lot to me. I haven't seen that happen a lot, but it does. I do think there should be a rule, but I also think major theater change should probably help out the situation because, you know, at some point, most of us are going to be parents and say, like, hey, you know what? If a baby keeps crying, have a, an attendant from the movie just come over. Hey, say, hey, ma'am, like, um, you know, we're sorry that uh, about this, but can we ask you to remove yourself from the theater for now? But, you know, we want to, uh, and we feel bad about this, so we want to give you a free pass to come back another time and try, so you can try watching the movie again the next time. Show a little bit of flexibility. It's easy for people like me and one of us who don't have kids to just, just be hard on people who do, but I think we need to give them a little bit of a break. You have children. Yeah, I do have kids, and I say, I disagree with you. I'm just like, get them out. Get them out. <laughs> well, uh, I, I do think if the baby cries and keeps no, crying, you, gotta, you don't think rule, you should be allowed no, in the listen, first place. Listen, the rules in general, get them out. You're the, you're the, you're they are don't the even nice, let them in. You are the nice Canadian, okay? You are the <laughs> nice Canadian. You have, the, you have this, this thing in your head that you think someone's going to be like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll take it out. Uh, just give me movie tickets. First of all, that's going to be a scam. People are going to just come in with the kids and start getting free movie tickets. Start crying, kid. Uh, <laughs> and like That's one thing. The other thing is, too, there's going to be kind of an argument for it, but it's not even just the babies. I went and saw uh, American Ultra with a friend. Uh, recently, and we were it was it was late, so we're watching this we're watching the movie. It's a hard rated R film. This guy walks in with a three. It had to be a three and a half year old. That is a very violent, brutal movie. Okay, my daughter gets scared when she sees uh, Ursula, and and she's about the same age. Okay? I get scared when I see Ursula. That movie that those images it's damaging to kids. You might not think it is, but it's damaging to kids at that early of an age, and it's irresponsible for that father to bring mm -hmm. them in there. So like that because. Even so, my, my friend was like, eyes went right on this person. It's just like, how do you do that? That's one thing. Now, the crying baby thing is, too, I have a kid. It's You get a babysitter. If you can't get the babysitter, then guess what? It's going to be on Netflix soon. Find it. It's, I, I'm sorry to be a, a douche about this, but like, it's, <laughs> it's one of those things. It's, it's a grading thing. Like When you're there with a baby, it's, it's, it's selfish is what it is because that, that kid is not enjoying the film. Uh, it's not. You're, just, you're, you're making everyone else uncomfortable here because you because like you said you don't want to go up to someone and go hey can you quiet your baby down because you don't want to be that yeah that then person. you're the douchebag then you're the douche you're telling your baby to be quiet you're, the baby shouldn't be there it right. just shouldn't so you got to get it that's the that's the part of being a parent yep. you you just dis, you're deciding you're 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 sacrificing like a lot of people when you hear most parents are like ah we don't go to the movies that much because those are the responsible people that aren't taking their babies in there find a babysitter find that date night and go sorry about being a douche I feel exactly the same way as you. I don't have kids yet, but I think movie theaters, like if there's going to be a family outing, it should be the matinee. So, you know, you leave the one o'clock and the three o'clock screenings for, hey, if you want to bring your kids, I absolutely think a kid who's one, two, three, and four should not be allowed in theaters. This is how I think. It's like, I think it's like, unless you can have, unless you can keep your kid quiet, like just like they're 
you've you've taught them the right way to be polite and things like that where they're not running around the theater yelling and screaming and throwing things i've been in theaters where that's happened yeah. at like a seven o'clock screening i'm like where are the parents they're right there not paying attention just eating a popcorn it's like it is it's completely rude to a a community experience that's what going to the movies is it's not you're not in your living room it's the same thing with cell phones feet up talking. on the chairs it's a whole level of of uh of people who just think that they're in their living right. room and i think that's happened so much so now that's it's like a just prevalent thing and in, in going to movies you're like who is who am i gonna have to tell off tonight that's so usually i'm right. like i'm sorry can you please not talk while the, the movie's already on 10 minutes in you know, can you not talk with your friends? The phone, the blazing light in the phone, phone. Yeah, I mean, it's and kids are just that next level where you're like, be respectful of the community that you're. And it's just because right. you paid fifteen bucks to go see a movie doesn't mean you can ruin it for everyone else. You ruin so really, else, someone else's fifteen bucks. That's one of yeah. a lot of people's fifteen dollars. So yeah. I really think it's like it is. It's not about family and being cool with a family. It's about respecting a community. Right. So. Yeah, I, I just can't believe at this table I'm the one who's saying let's cut some people some slack. Um, no, no, I, I mean I fully agree. I mean, like when when babies keep crying or kids are running amok, you gotta you gotta put in place a system to remove those. I just know that having sat in so many theaters as you guys have too, I know I've sat around families or people with kids, and 90% of the time it's fine. It, it's, it really depends I on the age. Of say, but I, it's like with you with R-rated films. Yeah, I've been disturbed yeah. sometimes, like being in some really harsh R-rated films and seeing some like parents come in with like a five-year-old kid. I'm like, that's, that's selfish. wrong. It's, what it's, are you doing? It's selfish. Yeah, yeah that's they a wanted to, they wanted to see the movie. Yeah. They couldn't find a babysitter, so they went to. It's selfish. It's like it's a, oh, he won't understand what's happening anyway. And it, and, like, and they don't realize how much how 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 it is those images and stuff. It it, it pays a toll. And also as a note on that, it's like I didn't mind when I saw Inside Out. There were kids in the theater, and some of them were talking. Didn't bother me for a second because we knew that a, movie was targeted. It's a family right. film. Exactly. So when you're going to see a family film, and you're going to have little kids like mommy, I don't know. It's right. like or is he going to be okay? There was one moment where there. Were like hanging on a bridge or something. And one little kid's like, "I don't want him to die," and you're like, "Oh, that's so cute." Right. Didn't bother. I know. Me. I'm the same Didn't way. I was talking. To, I was talking to a friend of mine who said, "You know, I just I hate going to the matinees of Pixar films, or whatever, because you know there's gonna be a lot of kids there." And I'm like, for me, that just adds something to it. I agree with you yeah. because you're, because, well, because that's that's the whole that's the point of the argument. Don't Is take that, your kid, their three year old, to see it follows. Right. Because, yes. gonna, because <laughs> you're gonna screw exactly. them up. Because because what these kids are, up. they're invested in the movie. Yeah. Like yeah. here's the other thing too is when I took my daughter to see Shaun the Sheep, there's a particular scene where Shaun gets carted off, and she, it was the first, it was the most honest emotion. She started getting upset. She's like, "I don't want him to be alone." She's it out, but it was an honest. She's reacting to the film. I don't mind that because no. people. I one. I've seen people do that in, in, in of totally. our age doing. It's yeah. great, but it's it's a matter of when you're bringing someone that doesn't understand it. Because I think you get into a range of ages. I mean, I remember seeing Back to the Future in the theater really young, and but I was invested in it. I understood what was going on. It's a matter of being. If if there's certain people who are, if the kids are invested, they're in it, mm -hmm. and it's not just a babysitting tool. Yeah, right? yeah. totally. That's the thing. Yeah, good point.